Coimbatore, also known as Kove and Coimbatore, is a major city in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It is located on the banks of the Nwahil River and surrounded by the Western Ghats. Coimbatore is the second largest city in Tamil Nadu after Chennai and the 16th largest urban agglomeration in India. It is administered by the Coimbatore Municipal Corporation and is the administrative capital of Coimbatore district. The city is one of the largest exporters of jewellery, wet grinders, poultry and auto components The Coimbatore wet grinder and the Kove Kora cotton are recognised as geographical indications by the Government of India. 1st and the 4th centuries and was ruled by the Cheras as it served as the eastern entrance to the Palakkad Gap, the principal trade route between the west coast. Coimbatore was located along the ancient trade route that extended from Musiris to Arakamdu in South India. The medieval Cholas conquered the Kangu Nadu in the 10th century. The region was ruled by Vijayanagara Empire in the 15th century. In the later part of the 18th century, the Coimbatore region came under the Kingdom of Mysore and following the defeat of Tipu Sultan in the Anglo-Mysore Wars, the British East India Company annexed Coimbatore to the Madras Presidency in 1799. The Coimbatore region played a prominent role in the Second Paligar War 1801 when it was the area of operations of Diran Chinamala. In 1804, Coimbatore was established as the capital of the newly formed Coimbatore district and in 1866 it was accorded municipality status with Robert Staines as its chairman. November 24 used to be Coimbatore Day, say those familiar with the history of Coimbatore. The city experienced a textile boom in the early 19th century due to the decline of the cotton industry in Mumbai. Post-independence, Coimbatore has seen rapid growth due to industrialization. Coimbatore was ranked the best emerging city in India by India Today in the 2014 Annual Indian City Survey. The city was ranked fourth among Indian cities in investment climate by Confederation of Indian Industry and 17th among the top global outsourcing cities by Thalans. Coimbatore has been selected as one of the 100 Indian cities to be developed as a smart city under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's flagship Smart Cities mission. Coimbatore was rated as one of the safest cities in India for women according to National Crime Records Bureau report in 2015. There are multiple theories regarding the origin of the name Coimbatore. According to one theory, Coimbatore is a derivation of Coven Puthur, after chieftain Coven or Koyan evolved into Coimbatore and later anglicized as Coimbatore. Koyama, the goddess worshipped by Koyan evolved into Koniyama and later Koveyama. Another theory states that the name could have been derived from Koveyama. There are several temples in and around Coimbatore, with most of them being of important historical significance. The intricate architectural designs of these temples coupled with the religious beliefs attached to them will beckon you to visit them and get a good peep into the opulent native culture of Coimbatore. The most famous temples in the city include the Ejanari Vinayagar Temple, the Maruthamala Murugan Temple, the Sri Iyappan Temple and the Thirumurthi Mala Temple. A lot of these temples are situated on hilltops, so you can get a good view of the entire city and its surrounding landscapes from the top. Camping and trekking are very popular things to do in Coimbatore, so if you are looking for a thrill, don't forget to check out the most exciting trekking trails that the city has to offer, such as the Tony Hills, the Vellari Mela, the Perumal Peak, and the Thalayar Falls Trek. Coimbatore is home to a massive 112 feet tall statue of Lord Shiva, known as the Ayadiyaji Shiva statue. Featured in the Guinness Book of World Records, this architectural masterpiece is a very popular tourist spot in Coimbatore and stands as a symbol of self-transformation and inner peace. The Coimbatore Textile Museum is a very important piece of the town's history, as this museum depicts the growth of the Indian textile industry right from the age of spinning wheels to sewing machines used in the modern day. <laughs>